Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this Skating Live video, we will be showing and discussing changes made in the version 1912.3 for the effect position and zoom. We hope to achieve two things in this video. One, explaining how to utilize position and zoom to someone new to Cadian Live. And two, show a experienced user changes that were made for this version. Notice we have our examples on the Cadian Live timeline that we will be utilizing. If you would like to follow along, a little prep work is required for this example. You must have an image and a video to import into Kdn Live. In order to follow the exact procedure, the image must be created in another artistic program saved with a clear background or utilized other Kdn Live effects to achieve this uh, that this video does not cover. Enough of the small talk. Let's get started. Once you have opened Kdn Live and placed the image on top of the video to be used and stretched to the run duration you would like, go to the Kdn Live effects list and type zoom. Grab the position and zoom, placing it in the image on top of the video. Once this is done in Kdn Live, highlight the image on the Kdn Live timeline by clicking on it, so as the Position and Zoom Properties windows appears. The one thing everyone wants is speed and ease of use. This includes us. And at first, I thought Kdn Live was broke or had a bug or something until I slowed down to learn the process had changed. But this is not a bad thing. In the Kdn Live Properties window, let us adjust our Access Y settings. This moves the image up or down. For the moment, we will use the off-click Kdn Live method and later use a, a method that will speed the process up. Once you feel you have reached your setting, whereas the image is in a proper position, look at our Kdn Live project monitor. There are items we do not desire to see. And it is quite obvious a height adjustment is needed. But before just adjusting the height, off click so as the settings of Access Y sets in. This will avoid possibly highlighting more than one function and changing more than one function at a time. Once you have off-clicked the image on the timeline, highlight the image once again with the Kdn Live position and zoom, so as the properties windows appears again. And now, let us make our height adjustment. Once our Kdn Live height adjustment is made, we then have to adjust our axis Y again. Keep in mind, you may also need to adjust the axis X function. This moves things left or right. But in doing so, an adjustment of the width may be required. The important part of this Kdn Live process is remembering to off-click between adjustments. Also, after off-clicking, if you have the red box activated in the Kdn Live monitor, you can adjust the position utilizing the crosshairs. But in doing so, there may be settings that need to be readjusted 
i.e. set back to zero or otherwise. The goal here is to find the sweet spot, if you will, for our image. Near the end of this video, we try to show how to quickly find that sweet spot. We will use a Kading Life speed effect so as to move along, being we feel you should understand this procedure by now. For the next part of this Kading Live example, we already know our so called sweet spot. So we would grab the, our numbers and just put them in. And instead of off clicking on the timeline, we will hit enter on our keyboard. This will give us our off click between added settings speeding this process up. For the next part of our Kading Live example, we will show what has changed from older versions of Kading Live and try to explain why off-clicking is important. In some instances, more than one access could become highlighted, causing all items to adjust, including the size adjustment. Now in older versions of Kadian Live, this effect was called pan and zoom. And in order to manipulate any access by itself, you would first have to unlock the access ratio. But now, it is the opposite. So now that you can see and understand off-clicking for this Kading Lab effect and its function there is one last part. The Kading Live Project Monitor, red box. When activated, if you do not see the red box, simply go below the Project Monitor and click on show edit mode and now the box should appear and be present if if things get confusing and not what you want there is a quick way to start over in the Kading live position in zoom instead of manually readjusting everything off click or hit enter then readjust the size to the 100%. This will automatically set the width and the height back to their original settings. So now I can grab it in the Kading Live monitor by the crosshair, moving the image into a proper place, and then making further adjustments and after each one hitting enter or off clicking. The next part of our Kading Live example, we are still unsure of. In earlier versions of Kading Live, the in monitor adjustment worked fine and made it easy for like split screen videos. Uh, maybe it still does. But as you will notice, no matter with the access ratio locked or not, the function seems to be the same. Now, this could be a bug or just more work that is needed. So how can we take advantage of this part of the Kading Live Position in Zoom effect? Well, by utilizing these adjustments, it can quickly narrow down the sweet spot by reviewing the numbers while moving them to different positions. We hope you have enjoyed this Kading Live tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, 
why not ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out. Thank you.